Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys some kind of unique little thing that is in Japan and that's furibako or pencil cases. Um, and I wanted to kind of show you guys a comparison of some that are kind of really expensive and ones that are actually cheaper. Um, in Japan, usually from elementary school for sure, and sometimes even in kindergarten, kids will bring uh, pencil boxes or furebako to school to hold all their special materials in. And um, it's really cool, I think. It keeps everything so well organized and everything is really nice in it. Um, and it's definitely a nice way to keep your materials organized and clean. Uh, considering that they use their Lando cell, the backpack that they use for elementary school for six years, uh, it really shows how using something properly, you can have it last for a long time. Uh, but furibako, I think, generally don't last that long, and that's mostly just because you're putting, you know, pencils inside of them, and so they get kind of gross. And there's really no way to clean them well. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. I suppose they sell these special tools that are supposed to be good at cleaning these kinds of things, but they can be really hard. But the uh, all the stores come, you know, March, uh, have all the new stuff out because everybody's getting ready for the new school year. It's back to school shopping time. New school year starts in April. It's a real big push for everybody to get those first graders uh, pimped out with awesome gear so that they can start the new year in style. And uh, they keep pushing for you to buy the cutest and uh, most perfect latest character good items. And a lot of times then you go to school and the teachers say, nope, you can't have anything with a character on it. It causes stress among the students. They fight. One person is jealous of the other. So uh, no characters are allowed. You can only bring plain, simple solid colored things to school. So then all that stuff that you bought, <laughs> you're like, oh, great. Well, that was a waste of money. So you got to be careful because I know sometimes, um, you know, we got everything ready and then found out we weren't allowed to bring it. So, um, and that goes from the furibako to the pencils, to the erasers, everything. Some teachers are very strict and don't want anything on any of that. So uh, you kind of have to be on the lookout for that. Of course, you can use these things at home, but I don't know if you need to have this of expensive kind of pencil case at home, but so one of the things to kind of look at, but, uh, and then, and then every year after there's, you know, different ones for everybody. I would say generally this kind of square type is usually used at least through third or fourth grade. Um, guys might use them all the way till the end of the year until their sixth year. Girls usually start, you know, changing or transitioning over into what is more popularly used amongst middle school girls and high school girls. And that's more of like a pencil pouch that is like more of a fabric kind of design. Um, this is sort of considered for young kids. So anyways, this is one of them. And if you're familiar, this is Hamudaro. And he's not particularly popular anymore. This is kind of from a few years ago. I think I sh actually got a hold of it way back when my oldest daughter was entering first grade, which was, you know, seven years ago. So, but we never used it. It was on sale, so I bought it. Uh, because usually this kind of pencil case will run you about 1,500 yen. $15. And um, it's got this sort of like cushiony effect to it and has a nice sort of plastic sheen as well. And, uh, you know, the outside part you can keep pretty clean easily with, you know, a little bit of effort. Uh, inside, this one has two sides. Inside, this is the back here. And you've got room for uh, erasers back here and a schedule if you wanted to put it there. And then on this side, we have the actual pencil case itself here. And uh, this is basically, you can see here, you've got room for five, six, I can count other, six pencils that you can sharpen and have in here. And they're perfectly set for fitting nicely into here. And then room for your eraser and possibly a little pencil sharpener and then uh, a when you're in first grade, you use a black, I mean a red and blue pencil for checking people's work. And then by about third grade, that transitions into an actual red pen. You also have to have a permanent marker, a black permanent marker too, that you use uh, for things. So those are the things that you would usually find in a furibako, in a pencil case. Now you'll notice here, just from the width of things, you know, one of the really cute things you'll find if you go to the stores here is that all the pencils also have little cute caps that you can buy on them, but they don't work for these kinds of pencil cases because they won't fit. 
So you gotta be careful not to be enticed by those and to buy those. But you can kind of see what this is like. It's really pretty, but my daughter even just used it barely and it has some, you know, uh, pen marks on it. You get pencil and eraser bits in here. It just gets really gross really fast. So it's kind of hard to use it. I, I usually try to use it for two years if I can, but then I kind of feel like that's pushing it. Sometimes, depending how much they used it, my uh, youngest daughter, Kate, when she used hers, it was way too gross after first grade, so we had to just get a new one. But that's what these kind of look like. You can get them at the Sanrio store. You can get them from Sun X characters. Every character you can think of. Uh, for guys, they have all your standard characters. And then they also have things like Nike and Adidas and other uh, different kinds of sports brands, too. So lots of things to pick from for you, whatever you might want. Now, this one underneath here is actually one from Daiso. Now, it was not 100 yen, it was 200 yen, but this is a new thing. I hadn't seen this before. You'll notice right away, of course, it is not as long by like just a tiny bit. <laughs> and in terms of width, it's not as fat, which sometimes can actually be better because it'll fit nicer into your bag. This one has double opening, which is cool. I just love the owl. I got this for myself because I was like, oh, that's so cute. Now the, you know, English is whatever. It's not bad, but I'm really glad to see you again after all these years. If you need anything, pick up the phone and call me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's not bad, but they need a space and they forgot a period. But yeah, so. <laughs> so, and there's a cute little design on the back. That's, that's pretty cute, you know. Um, it definitely, you know, has less substance than this, you know, feels a little lighter and cheaper. But if you're only going to use it for a year, I think this would actually be good enough. But just like the other one, on this side, we have the same thing. You've got this nice back space here for you for rulers, class schedule slot. This even has an extra spot here for um, small little like things that you might use in class. I know for first graders in math, they have like little counter markers for numbers and stuff that you put in here. My daughters are in hers now and they're just floating around because they don't have any good spot for them. This Dyson one is so awesomely designed. It's like they thought of every single thing you'd need. So they have that spot there. And to be honest, this is an old one. So maybe the new ones are like this too, if you buy the fancy ones, but that's one side. Flip it over here, turn it around here. And I've got the wrapping. This inside here has, this one's nice because it actually has the built-in eraser, which you can, you know, take out if you need to clean it, but it's, that's there. And also has, room here for your pencils and you can tell that's a little less nice but still good enough and then this spot here for uh red pencils and stuff not much less space for here but this side might be fat enough and deep enough that you could probably put maybe at least a pencil on that side but then the totally random thing here that i could not figure out for the longest time i'm like what is this about this little thing and these little hooks here. And it turns out, <laughs> after much debate, we figured it out. It's actually a stand for you to put your, your notebook on. And um, it cannot obviously withstand something super heavy, but a lot of times when you're doing homework, you wanna put your textbook here while you're copying the kanji and practicing the vocabulary. So it's like really very cleverly made, I thought. <laughs> so uh, you know, for 200 yen, very cool. Um, now, you know how it is. I remember when I was a kid, I wanted the mead trapper so bad and the trapper keeper and all the cool little different things you could put on with that. And my dad was adamant like, no, you can just have these totally lame looking folders for your <laughs> schoolwork. And I was devastated. So I know kids really want cool, cute stuff for school. Um, but it's nice to see that there are more and more options available so that you don't have to, you know, break the bank buying something like this. Um, but you don't necessarily have to get the Daiso version either. It's sort of up to you guys. Um, and, and to be honest, a really good time to go shopping is right after everyone goes back to school because then there's a few things that get really deeply discounted. So I got a pretty nice kind of department store version of this. It's in solid colors. And usually their, their starting price was 1,200 yen, but then usually they're discounted to 900 yen. And I got some for like 300 yen. So uh, if you look for a time of when to buy those kinds of things, you can kind of stock up, have them around, and then keep your fingers crossed that your kid will like it when they're that age. My 
I know my two daughters are completely different, so I've saved all of my eldest daughter's clothes, and, and the youngest daughter hates everything that she had, so <laughs> it's sort of hard that way, but uh, definitely something to kind of keep in mind, especially if you think you're going to be living here, or if you're just coming for a visit and want to pick up some things. I know a lot of this stuff you guys see in anime and manga and stuff, so you might be curious what they are, so I wanted to kind of share it with you guys. And um, yeah, I'll have some more fun things to share with you guys in the days to come. Thanks again always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!